everybody, welcome back to the channel. The channel that I think I'm going to call Zeke Squatch. But this is going to be a Pipe Squatch segment, so that's why you just got the intro and stuff. Today, of course, is St. Patty's Day. I've got my green on, drinking from a green Blackhawk Nalgene bottle. Why did I just show y'all me drinking water? I don't know. And also, today I'm going to do a review. Peterson's St. Patrick's Day Blend, which is fitting because Peterson, of course, is based in Ireland where St. Patty's Day started up. If I'm not mistaken, I think St. Patty's Day is when St. Patrick got all the snakes out of Ireland, which is a place that I would love to live because I don't like snakes at all, at all, really. You could dump a box of spiders and mice and rats and other bugs all over my head and I'll brush them off. You bring a garter snake near me, you will see a 6'7 guy run a 4240. But that's beside the point. St. Patty's Day blend. Peterson, let's crack this thing open. <clears throat> and yes, using my Spyderco Manix XL, Manix 2 XL. Love this thing, by the way. And then we'll see, give it a little review here. I love that sound that it makes when you first break that seal, that little, Ooh, what does that smell like? It's something sweet. Uh, maybe it's the placebo effect and seeing the Irish and the green and I'm thinking Irish cream for some reason, but that may be what I'm smelling. First thing I'm noticing is it's really, really perfectly dried. And when I say dried, I'm saying dried with a D, not dry. You don't want your tobacco to be real dry. You want it to be just slightly moist, but sometimes tobaccos are too moist and you need, did I say moist? And you need to go and dry them out a little bit. That way they'll smoke a little bit better. Basically what's happening when you smoke a moist tobacco, you get steam and it, it burns. That's a lot of tongue bite comes from that. Thus a lot of the aromatics. I'm smelling, I'm smelling licorice or no, licorice or raisins, prunes maybe? Maybe I should look up what is actually the flavor profile. All right, I got this from smokingpipes.com, so I'm gonna go with what they say. Crafted by Master Blenders, Peterson's limited edition St. Patrick's Day 2018 blend is an exquisite mixture of Black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia, layered with piquant, P-I-Q-U-A-N-T, piquant, that didn't sound right, notes of blackberry, mango, and rum. Maybe those will come out when I smoke it, because... Maybe the rum I'm smelling, but I smell raisins, other stuff. Okay, let's see. And fittingly enough, I'm going to use my Peterson System 313 pipe. As I'm packing this, maybe the reason that I'm smelling raisins is the colors of this. It kind of looks like raisin bran. That, that may be why I'm smelling it. psychological. Just drawing the air through it. I'm getting a little more of that blueberry pie kind of smell. Charlotte. Just from the Charlotte. <clears throat> definitely getting the Virginia. Not a whole lot of the burly, the Cavendish is there. Uh, but none of the rum or mango. Maybe a little bit of the blueberry. Mm, let's see. It's, it's a good smoke. Um, I like the fact that it's a, it's a mild aromatic. It's not really overpowering. I mean, it's got, it's got good five star reviews, four and a half stars. I mean, it's, Doing well. There's something off about it though. Not bad off, just, eh. It's kind of like, 
I never reviewed the Peterson Special Reserve just because it just kind of tasted like every starter aromatic Lang 1Q. Remember, all of this is my opinion. This is just my taste buds, my nose. So don't necessarily go by it. If you want to try it, try it. Don't forget when you're lighting with a match, let all the sulfur burn off. There we go. Now it's starting to get all the, still no mango. I don't know why mango was in the list of flavor profiles. Not getting it. <clears throat> it's a hint of that blueberry pie. It is a, probably heavier on the rum. The Cavendish just tastes like black Cavendish. Don't know what they mixed in it to get those other flavors, but this is an aromatic I would probably smoke regularly. The only aromatic that I really like that's really strong, and I've talked about it on videos before, is the Sutliff Molto Dolce. Molto Dolce. Dolce. It's, it's a really good, strong, like, flavor smell, but it also has a nice room note. It has the tobacco notes, too. It doesn't taste or smell too much like a hookah type flavor tobacco. Uh, this, this from, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me a little bit of the cult conspiracy. I really like that one. That's an aromatic that I'd smoke on a regular basis. It's got a little something darker in it. I don't think it's Latakia, but it kind of has like a, just this little bitty touch of English. But this one doesn't have that, that touch, but it, it's definitely got a, a darker hint to it. I, I'm actually enjoying it. Stinks that it's only a limited edition. Burning off sulfur. Okay. Now that we're going good on this, I got it charred. I've got a good pack on it. This is a good tobacco. Great job, Peterson. You kind of made up for it after this. Now going to this, too bad it's a reserve. Does it say limited? Yeah, limited edition, great. Why is it that companies that make limited edition anything make them so dang good? Except Crystal Pepsi and New Coke. Although I think New Coke, they actually tried to make Forever Coke. I'm gonna sit back and enjoy this pipe. So what do I say about Peterson's St. Patty's Day? I like it. Definitely gets thumbs up for me. I may go buy a couple more tins if it's not sold out, uh, which <laughs> my next video, which I'm gonna do next week, is gonna talk about things selling out and people hoarding and a certain favorite company of mine going out of business. And, We'll just see that next week. Got the rum, got the blackberry, blueberry pie, whatever it was. Feeling that. Tasting just a hint of burley, tasting the Virginias, tasting the black Cavendish. But all of it is so mild that I enjoy it. Uh, it's funny because when I switched to Englishes, I didn't, I kind of forgot about aromatics. I didn't forget about them. I, I, I know they exist. But I, I just kind of pushed them to the side and smoked aromatics that much anymore but this one's good there's a handful that i'm racking up you know cult conspiracy cult blood red moon this multi dolce java shout out to waves of java but those are kind of my go-to's aromatics Englishes, i'm not listening to them that'd be a whole video by itself but i do want to say this oh wow i just got a Big old taste of that blueberry, blackberry, whatever pie. I will say this. I want to thank you all for the kind words. This community is amazing. The pipe community. And anybody that watches me that doesn't smoke pipes, because I know there's a few of you I've talked to. In other media outlets I've done before, if I would have asked the question of, you know, what do I call the channel? Zeke Squatch, blah, 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 this, that, and the other. I would have got blasted. Stupid names, funny. And I, I'm fine with that. I actually kind of have fun with trolls, <clears throat> especially trolling myself. Y'all all 
you know, very encouraging. Uh, the general consensus was Zeke Squatch because I'm going to be doing stuff, you know, like dives, Spatico, Manix, XL2. I figure if I say it enough, just like in other videos, I'll get free stuff from them. I really won't. I know. I know. But if I do all these other reviews, do all this other stuff, just get on a video and start talking randomly some stuff. Um, you know, the pipe squatch thing, while smoking a pipe during those other things is fitting, the name didn't fit for all the different video ideas I had. Zeke Squatch was the general consensus. <clears throat> My favorite was, I think it was Waves of Java that said it, Squatch This, which I thought was awesome. And then there's another YouTube channel with that name. And they only got like a couple of videos up and it's been years since they posted again. I may do a show on this called Squatch This. Kind of like a, hey, hold my bear. <laughs> Squatch this. No, that was bad. That was really bad. So I'm gonna change the channel name. It may be a week or two before I get it all together. I wanna come up with a new logo and stuff. Uh, but the pipe stuff will always be the pipe Squatch. It's gonna stay the same. So that's kind of the direction I'm going. And thank you all for watching. As always, keep your pipes loaded. Slow down, philosophize and enjoy life. See you guys.